there. No one will dispute that. But let's see how Vertigo shapes up. One of my favorites to be casting at the moment, myself, Lauren, and Sponge, the voices you'll be hearing shouting, Ow! Ah, just bang my knee. Lauren, All right, I'll take over while Alex tries to recover his kneecaps. And, well, it looks like the similar situation for the CT side. Sprout already losing two of their heads. Alex, are you okay? We might lose okay, him for a couple we're rounds. Okay, carry on for a bit. You all seen Family Guy? This is that scene. Peter's <laughs> on the ground, rocking back and forth. And Faven oh. has to bow them out here, Lauren. 3v5 situation very quickly. A lot of utility already Bloody expended. Hell. All right, let's see what he can do with this. I think this is going to be the kind of state of the game is just get an idea, a concept of what Sprout can achieve. So far, one kill this round. It wasn't much of a start. The two kills came in really swiftly there, Chad. And I mean, maybe what what can we what are we looking for in Sprout for let's say win condition? Something that gives us some excitement because I know it's going to be thin. I know it's few and far between. Can I answer the question? You back? I think the win condition might have to be. Unfortunately, until I see more, the win condition is RPK, Zywu, and Shox are not all hitting their peak at the same time. Brilliant. Okay, fair enough. I think that's completely fair. As I said, I just want us to kind of lay the scene here that this is an upset, that this is very much in Sprout's court to do something with or hope that Vitality simply are not quite on that point. Yeah, this is like a David versus Goliath, but it's not Goliath. This is like Goliath's brother, Tim. That is mm. Vitality here. Tim? Yeah. yeah, Tim, Goliath's brother. He's still a big boy. You know, he's still yeah, his, scary. His parents were like, look, he's getting bullied. We can't call our next kid Goliath. Maybe D her and Snatchy look to take away the second here. They're burning as well. Attack Scout. Speedy, if he hits this shot, we are onto something. And now, slowing down for just a moment. Dennis is the one to push the pedal further. Looking yeah. for the transfer. Faven finds it. Fantastic. And that's already Sprout biting back and showing Vitality what they can do. They put all the pieces in the right place there. Utility and bullets. Zywu with three, and it's just not enough. They will force in response here, Lauren. So just briefly, and, and again, if this is something we don't see as often anymore, um, we have a mismatch, let's say, of expectations. Will Vitality run them over until they're humbled? Will they continue the quite an aggressive approach? Or is that simply something they're going to do anyway? Or, or how can I kind of quantify that here? Uh, I, I think Vitality, because of the way that they approach the game being relatively quick and quite pacey, if they do stumble across the line here in the sense of they go maybe too aggressive, too fast, they lose a couple of gimmies, lose a couple of anti-ecos, that's when we can start to see if they'll be in trouble. But those Zywu rounds, or RPK stepping up, or even Masuta for that matter, when they do find the impact, they can break you. It's the same as what I was talking about with Simple and Co. Okay, okay, Spitty's Jiggle does work out wonderfully. He'll get the information for free. Didn't spot the rifle, so Zywu could and has been poised to, uh, to succeed here. Snatchy, in the meantime, does take down one of the easier opponents. This is Armored Pistols outside of Zywoo, the hero raid boss, AK-47. Now, one of the beauty or curses of Vertigo is that you can hear everything. And so you'll notice that Vitality have hit the brakes here, the element of surprise. Important for the double swing, and Zai Wu does not make a mistake. Neither does Masuta. Suddenly, the A defense has gone from nothing to everything. Spitty's going to have to play the sight box. If they smoke before they look, they don't. And now Apex can take his head off. Two AKs flowing through the game now. Bloody hell. All right, oh. I guess. Uh, oh. All right, so this this is my first impression of Vitality, and I think this round's quite nice as a, as a pinpoint of it, isn't it? A lot, lot, lot of Quite go kill? Headshots. Yeah, yeah. You put a weapon in their hands, you just tell them to go kill, and eventually they do. Oh, Look at that. Hell. They Double swing. Brawly. They are very brawly. I love it. I love a bit of that. It's exciting. It, it's not always, you know, the most uh, refined and beautiful and technically gorgeous, but my word, does it look pretty. It's great for play-by-play -play commentators. Uh, Hell yeah. There you go. So We I'm, need uh, more airtime. Well, I hope that we get a lot of excitement in this game in the sense of fast rounds, lots of big frags. Hopefully, we're going to see some clutches coming on through. Some stuff to get everybody at home excited. This one won't play out like a chessboard, I don't and think. Now I can demonstrate to Lauren what I want to happen. So you see how everyone saves on this corner? Yes. Now, could we fly through Rush to tease? Thank you. So you know that nade where they throw the smoke? Imagine if the Dosia X God nade, you get a HE perfectly as three of them are saving. Boof, boom, three From the outside die. behind them. Yeah. Okay. From the outside in. A little side spin on it. Lauren Around doesn't care. She literally couldn't care less. She's I like it. I'm thinking about it. It's cool. Okay? It's cool. No one's done it yet. It's true. It's it right. needs to happen. He's right. Got it, got it, got it. And maybe SL1 Cologne is where it happens. That's what I'd like to see. Zywu saving the orb, or is he? You know, okay. I'm hyped. All right. I love you played this out quite far as well. <laughs> Me? No. <laughs> Looks like they're in the Renault HQ. See, I've watched that F1 documentary now. I'm getting all into it. 
All right, so uh, I, I think oh, Mr. X Cat's behind them as the coach of Vitality uh, will have done his preparation here today. He's not a man who I think would be a slouch at any point in his career. Used to be a commentator, I believe, back in the French scene. Now he stepped into the coaching chair for Vitality. Commentators what? going to coaching. Commentators coaching. Chair. Yeah, we got one of those tonight. That's mad. Yeah. Look at me if you guys aren't nice. <laughs> I'll buy you all the treats. And it does seem like Zai was treating us tonight. Just going to continue to add some crazy kills to his total. Not necessarily an execution, but in terms of numbers, he's eight to one. Uh, and uh, this round does look like it is done. It's just going to be the armored deagle and a unarmored scout. He's holding the headshot angle. There is absolutely no rush for Vitality. They'll likely send a probe towards B. He's actually for now just poking and prodding at A, and he does fall suddenly, and M4, Good an open B site, so that's enough for them. They send their scout in. He calls it safe to plant. Apex will be getting that one down. So these are the two imports right here that we have left alive. Snatchy will be the AWPer, and Dihal, we really liked how versatile he was as a rifle player. Quite explosive. And they're the two, alongside of Faven, statistically speaking, who are doing the lion's share of the work for Sprout. I think Dennis is one of those individuals. He is so experienced and he is a good player that he can have games where he drops like 25 kills and he can have games where maybe, you know, he's sitting more around that six or seven mark, but he can get it done. How weird is it that I can still remember one particular Dennis game? Like, I remember okay. it was Teesside Dust 2. I was saying Dust 2. I was thinking... Uh, yeah, I, I remember him game. just... Po I've never seen a man have one a one-off game that just everything was looking... I've never seen it. I, could, I couldn't tell you. I bet someone from HLTV's like, I know he's not making it up. Maybe you can dig it up for me. But it was a Dust 2 game. I'm talking 35 regulation. It was ridiculous. Aww. Hey, Rush. And that's Rushdie pretending to look busy. And you can see there's lots of uh, Sorry, screens and, and, uh, and masks involved in his job. Do you know what? Rush printed me off a little baby Yoda. He's got a 3D printer. Oh, so it's kind of like my, wait for it, Frostmourne. There it is. But Mine's way cuter. Though. Way cuter. I'll give you that one. Mine's more of, um, you know, a weapon. Abby. I just want to uh, bring us into where Sprout's money situation mm. is. If we have a look right now, you can see 2.2, 2.4. Snatchy had uh, a weapon, but not anymore. Uh, so, okay, that's not bad. That is. Apex will find the trade. So my point here is that we are about to be five rounds into the game and Sprout have only had that force buy that was looking potent, right? So when we keep that in mind, they haven't managed their pennies very well. I mean, after winning that second round, it can sometimes be difficult for CTs Indeed, to yeah. stabilize after winning the second off the pistol. Because they're still bringing that, what we saw was double AK by the end of it. Apex, lovely off angle wow. from Fave, and you can see how hard that adjustment would be. And Suddenly, a 3v3. Doable. Yeah, and D's got the incendiary. He's got Kevlar behind his M4. I would love to see Spitty doing some early damage here. It would make that molly all the more powerful. And that's what he's looking for to do. A good stray from Zaiwu. And two more on advancing. Shocks is the primary target. That's exactly what the scout was capable of. Needs to get out. Survival key here. And Faven going to try and put some bullets down range. The Losing. smoke should enable the plan. RPK can get them both. And he does. Lines them up. But Faven did damage. And now all onto the king. Mr. RPK looking for his third. And he gets it as well. He has been consistent for the French. And he does it just when he needs to. A triple kill for four for Vitality. I think RPK, now I will be corrected if I'm wrong here, but I'm pretty certain RPK is the oldest player performing at this level. People will be saying, what about Forrest? Forrest is Ninja, so one cologne, ladies and gentlemen. RPK is, and he had a beast mode performance against FaZe just yesterday. This man is 31 years of age. That is the same age as ancient old me, born in 1989. You little Zoomers out there, you might have to have a look at what that means. Oh my Lord, okay. What are you saying about him? Well, he's been taken down. Diha actually has the AWP, not Snatchy in this round right here. He's found the opening over towards that B-bomb site. Bonk. And I'm glad to see some of these players getting back into form. RPK is outstanding when he has those games. I remember, you know, people doubted him so much in the past, but clearly he's found his form here. Apex, just the same. Zaiwu going to continue to control this ramp. It's kind of just been his palace to walk around in however he pleases, and but they are losing out on numbers here. He's afforded that luxury and that kill exclusively because of what Apex was doing. Unfortunately, it has cost him Apex's life. So now suddenly a 2v4 becoming all the more favorable to Sprout to, to start to build their second. But Shox and Zaiwu is quite the combination of Counter-Strike gamers. 
Let's see what we have in store. A boost to get him up for the headshot peak with the AK-47. Dennis won't be expecting that. I wasn't expecting such a quick one. Dennis will pull his pin. Smoke for the Jennies. I like it. It's starting to take shape. But Dennis needs to be forced off this angle. And I don't think he's going to bow out willingly. Dennis going to dig his heels in. Take down Zaiwu. And we're down to just shots. Can they get that second orb? They're running for it. Oh, we didn't just catch if they picked it up there. Maybe. And I'm the sure Sprout fans are right there. Good to see we have some viewers who are tuning in for almost every game on the fan cans there. So <laughs> people loving the Counter-Strike. Good to see Tier 1 CS back in action. Here's the opening onto RPK. d blind through the smoke. Easy as you like. And they finish this one off with ease. So the early stage is 4-2 to two here. Over towards A, they did take a little bit of damage early as well. So let's have a look and see how Vitality want to get to this one. It's quick. And Snatchy with the opening this time. So the orbs being moved around between the poles. Certainly a nice luxury to have. Multiple players. Diha gone. Nice catch from RPK. It's rare to see that angle actually pay dividends. But that will give him the equalizer. And what looked to be an early advantage for Sprout is squandered fast. Oh, it's a hard angle to peek into, isn't it, for the CT side? That is very, very tricky to see. Now, the T's are a little low. Bear in mind, RPK did take a Ooh. fair amount of flak. Speedy could have something quite nice here. I wonder how this works out if they get up ramp at this point. Flashing into the early swing. Ooh, Faven, you got a flash for me, bro? Now? Now? Ah, and he's going to hold his trigger. It is two. And that is enough. More than enough. As it slows them down, cuts them down to size. The rotate's coming in. Snatchy's walking straight into the crosshairs. He could be in trouble. Tagged down by Apex. It's a big miss. Really could follow them through. That would have been a great chance. Now Dennis is there in support. Zywe would have to hit some stunning headshots. He's even got the molly perfect for the plant. Can't really contest that at this point. Zywe is the one with the bomb. Wall bangs or nades, that's their only way to try and find someone. Not going to do anything there. They're trying it's to make really favor lift ahead. The yeah, they know they he's can, there. Going to get him. Oh, he gets the info, but oh, this is messy. Apex, he hasn't got the enough. And now with just Zywe were left, I don't think he has enough time for this. Faven confirms it. And that's the, that is Sprout winning the round by not peeking, ladies and gentlemen. They just so, sat still. And that's sometimes when Chad's screaming at me, just nobody move, nobody die. Uh, it does certainly translate. What if I clutch, Alex? But what if I just killed him? Then we could start the next round. <laughs> but that was great. That really put them in a box. They had no options after the miss from Apex. Just taking a quick look here. So in those last two gun rounds, it has been the openings from the AWP. One towards B onto RPK, and then the next we just saw onto Shocks there down the A ramp. So the opening duels currently looking pretty nice in the favor of Sprout, at least as far as the rifles are concerned. And that has forced Team Vitality back down onto the pistols here. So Deagles, Zywoo and RPK. Apex as well wants to get one of the 50 cals in his back pocket. Glocks from Masuda and Shocks. You wouldn't be expecting too much from this one here, but remember, Zai was in the server. That's oh, a no. nasty way to go down. Yeah, suddenly you realize, if I go down now, that's a bomb plant. Spitty's got a lot to deal with. He's got Snatchy now in tow. Snatchy. Oh, this is a scary one. Don't do that. Apex was looking for that all last round, and he gets it now. Rifle gets thrown around. Oh, Dennis, are you mental? He's playing with fire as Dennis. Is he mental? He re-peaks that. Oh, yeah, I just died there. Cool. Yeah, literally standing on the corpse of his fallen comrade. Like, I'll get him this time. Brave. Very brave. But it does take Apex out of the equation, which is uh, a relief. Well, they've rotated back towards B. There's only one player. Speedy has a lot of work to do here. And we'll start Steps. with the sound cue. Gets the spot, but it's only one. That's big. They can plant safely here, uncontested. They'll plant for ramp. No incendiary, no bullets. It's too late. Doing his trigonometry. Dennis plans to flash for short, and they can tuck in now. Kits are a question. D okay. had it. D has gone. Zywoo's Deagle signed and delivered. Give me that double swing. Give it to me. Miss Suter's there to clean up the pieces and Vitality with a real clean five to get Vitality and Vertigo started. So it just seems different, you know? Like those deagles look different. He always has like a little nade, a little smoke, a little flash, something. He's always look, looks a little scary. I said, first time I'm seeing him. So uh, fun prospect. 
Yeah, this Vitality roster, when Apex took over as the in-game leader and Masuda came in, he looked very rough, but he was a rookie. Masuda was another one picked up from the Pug Realms. They basically took a massive risk on this kid. Yeah. And the fact that they've been able to convert him, I believe that's Matt in the background. So we've got XCats as the head coach. I think that's Matt. And if, for those of you who are nice and old like me, WCG 2007 emulate is capital M, little a, capital T. Uh, they won it. That was... That was what? They were Frenchmen. What? Yeah, 1.6 team. Um, so I think they have him in there as an assistant coach or something along those lines. There's actually quite the support team for this Vitality roster. And uh, yeah, that emulate team winning yeah. that WCG was mad. Back in the day when we had events and like we saw all these players in real life. Yeah. Human um, people in person. Vitality would show up with like a bus of like 50 people. It was ridiculous. <laughs> And that was just their support structure. So yeah, there's a lot of resources being funneled into Vitality. And you can understand why currently holding the number two spot and currently set for a semi-final start. I was about to say finish, of course, remains to be seen, but they have to get through Sprout first. No one's watching the push for Dennis, by the way. He has a lot of room. Uh, Yikes. Imagine much worse than that. You're just going to crest around the corner. Are you smokes nades in hand? No, no, no. Not going to get away with that. Dennis has free kills here. Is Iwi aware? Yes, he is. Different. Different, like... <laughs> it's a big gap that they left open, so the fact that Zaiwu... Threw his head there when he's mantled the sandbags. I don't know if he knows. Spitty knows he was, was around here, and that's a good surprise. Can't hit the shot, though. There's one at the top of the... Oh, no! He's in a real dire straits. Rock and a hard place. And so, Diha continuing to find kills when he should, and that is impressive. He's caught Apex on the mid lurk. He will have access to A, but perhaps he can recover at least a rifle. Yeah, he has grabbed the AK off Apex's corpse. Should just be the round there. Maybe Faven at the zero goose egg dollars in his savings account. Might not even value that Kevlar vest and CZ at this point. God, this is, I feel like this is Sprout gets away with it sometimes. <laughs> Mostly Vitality are doing pretty good. I think with the play style that Vitality approach the game with, they're bound to give up a couple of rounds here and there, right? Mm -hmm. Because it is a little bit more all-in. Here they're actually playing relatively reserved in their approach, nice and slow. You saw that contact play towards middle, but not many teams would you see just three AK contact walk, right? That That's not like a... Nor like, no, sure, no. is like a gimmicky round every now and again, but Vitality really put a lot of flux in their play. And I put that down to Apex as an in-game leader. Now, somebody who was an entry fragger who would take a lot of space, you have to have a good read for the game, right? You have to be able to feel the game, feel the gaps, understand stand and actually taking over the in-game leadership role if he's doing all the homework and he's actually d studying all the demos he's going to know where those gaps are and then if it's working if he goes oh Sprout are doing this I know where the hole is Sprout are doing this I know where we need to go he is very fiery he is yeah. very emotional but that might even play into the hands because Zaiwu star player probably a bit more quiet so maybe Apex firing him up getting him involved that could be the scenes you want it's, I mean, if I look down the list of five on your right hand side of your screens it would be Apex to be the voice uh, certainly behind this roster RPK, always the silent killer. Suta's already done good work in this one, trying to bait oh the shot for his teammates. No issues for Masuta here. Those are rifles. Certainly one of them just being hot potatoed around that mid push. Oh, blooming hell. How do you how do you manage to isolate four players basically into four individual 1v1s in one corridor? Just hunting him, hunting him, bounding around the corners. Spitty tried to draw the cross there, but Masuta far too quick. Another rinse repeat round. It feels like just yesterday we saw Vitality picking themselves up these long, arduous saves for the one CT that wasn't their victim, and it's this time it's Faven. Now we need to see some signs of life out of Sprout here. I know that Force by early was good. The AWP openings from Deha and then Snatchy or the other way around. Yeah. That was great ways for them to, to kick off uh, some gun rounds in the earlier stages. But what we'll do is I'll, I'll be taking check of the frags. I'll be following my little round timeline to see how close they truly are. Who had Zywu in their team, by the way, for their fantasy team? Uh, Alex. Nice. Thanks, Shane. Okay, we also had Poison and Blame F, and they're both out, so I don't know if oh. you want to uh, back them up with that, Lauren, but... Uh, Sometimes, you know, if you have someone quiet on your team, you've got to pump them up once in a while, Chad. You know, you've got to give them a little, little support little there. A little pep talk. Well, maybe that's what Sprout are doing now with this tactical timeout, as we can see they've taken their first of four here. <laughs> Look at the little cars, it's like Grand Theft Auto, the first one. Actually, no, that'd be a bit There's more... There's a Vitality a bit bus more. going past. 2D. 
Yeah, it does look more like the kind of the uh, GTA knockoff my parents let me play. <laughs> my parents the Driver, Simpsons Driver ones? 3. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Driver, Driver was great, great, but do you remember there was like the Simpsons one? I can't remember it was hit called like Home Run. Oh, Hit, hit and run. run, was it? Banging. That was like Crazy Taxi. Yeah, I love <laughs> don't, don't watch the gameplay back though. I'll tell you now. It looked, I swear it was, it was realistic. It looked like a Simpsons episode. I was there. I watched it back. It's just yellow and brown polygons. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much all you get. But we Fair are enough. into our 11th round. Plenty more polygons here in Counter-Strike. Certainly love those go. new models. And the Federal Bureau of Investigation clash with Team Vitality. Look at this. Uh, only one diffuse kit in play. No Molotovs. Four smokes. Now three. Run and the run boost. Eight. He's across. He's hell? found himself one. It's not enough. If a double kill from Deha and Dennis, we are still seeing an advantage for Sprout into the 11th. I'm sorry, my jaw is still just like detached after seeing this in. Ooh, they feeling themselves today, Lauren. Oh my word. Oh, we can see him. Hello. That oh. smoke, as it fades, it is such a, a nightmare for the human eye to try and pinpoint movement within the smoke. I'm amazed at this hey, brand little run boost. I love a bit of that. Uh, Why don't you ever try that? Uh, look, if you want to play some... Rushley talking about his movement skills? Yeah. You know, saying, I'm like one of the best in the game. I'm basically yeah, yeah, yeah. the coolest guy in Counter-Strike. That was kind of the sentiment. Um, well, he could probably do that. He does that often. Oh, Rush, get ready. And someone else who should get ready are the CT players. Oh, Masuta. Did Deha see it? Yeah, I had to have done. They both saw each other there. And it's going to be Masuta who comes out on top. Now, bear in mind, the remaining player for the CT side is pretty detached, pretty far away. Masuta is low, but... Ah, this retake's going to be horrible. Kit available, I think, yep. So, could do something, but you need almost a freebie to feel good about it. Apex has just smoked him off as well, so he has to deal with that over towards the scaffolding position. Not quite sure where the T's could be. And right now, as he saunters on in, you're right, Lauren. He's so suspicious. <laughs> He's just going to have to pretend there's no one there. Yeah, okay, cause it clear now. They've rotted the clock, and Molly for the oh, bomb. Another seven seconds gone. Yeah, he's running out of time now. He's going to have about three seconds to kill both of them. And uh, that just this seems like too much, Masuta! Bye-bye. <laughs> Good grief, I could see his eyebrows. And Faven's gone. Just like that, Vitality extending their lead here on Vertigo. Now, this was, correct me if I'm wrong, Vitality's pick. So they're certainly telling us... <gasps> How it goes what down. Is that is that little a doggy? dog? His eyes like lit up. It looked like a little demon was being pulled out of the screen. Oh, look, yeah. there's a group of people down the bottom in the middle there. There was like five or six people watching. Hopefully, you are. We had a little auditorium. Viewing party. Yeah. They were all wearing the same uniform. I might even go as far as saying they might be some form of um, like a Boy Scout. They're probably like military. Troop. I don't want to say Boy Scout. They look like grown men. Yeah, grown men <laughs> with the whole Scout vibe. Oh, I didn't see that. I, I was detracted, detracted, distracted by the demon dog. Yeah. It also look cute once you pulled it away. Apologies. Kind of hanging it limp though. It kind of <laughs> it suspicious is. for a while. <laughs> um, yeah, this round, Thanks. we're on the pistols. We are down to CZs, Deagles, P250s. And uh, I want to see how Vitality get this clean. I have a fun quiz for all of y'all, as this round here should taper out pretty quickly. Shocks will deal with most of that. It's just Deha over on the B-bomb site. What has been different about this Vertigo game than the ones we traditionally watch? What oh, a quiz. Um, what's been different? Uh, they've gone B more. Yay! I haven't just seen Ramp for the last 12 rounds. <laughs> <laughs> you can see now that the map actually is viable if you're willing to go to the other sites. You can take advantage of the run boost to open up the B site, give yourself another avenue in there. You can also drop your own smokes to deal with that CT side of Molotovs, flash through the windows. There's a lot of things that you can do. Teams just really default over towards A because they can make it work. And yeah. if you want to be stubborn about that, we can talk about other approaches. You notice on Vertigo the other day, we had teams going, sorry, on Overpass the other day, we had teams going A long quite a lot. Right. Dust 2, we have teams going A long quite a lot. So Vertigo will eventually... Uh, when teams start abusing mid and B, it'll become a map that plays out across the entire domain. I'm looking forward to more action in middle in general. Like the, it the, feels so viable. I'm I'm surprised that it hadn't been toyed with before. So what what the way in my mind what's happened here Explain is Explain to me because obviously I so play sure. it at my level, so which that, is that very detached. That construction, that connector, that flank into B from middle is the newest addition. Previously, it was a it, it, the first iterations. It was a squeaky door sound cube, but yeah. it, it existed. Then they completely removed it, and right. so the only way to actually flank B was through CT or not yeah, great nasty. Yeah. So now they 
they've kind of given mid a reason to exist. Uh, it certainly feels like it's viable, but of course, what we're seeing the quickest uh, adaption made is we have a molly. We have a run running molly that I can completely nullify construction CT. So they're either in a headshot on sandbags on their own and they're going one and done, or they kind of leave it and you just have reactionary uh, players pressing their ear to middle from B and elevator respectively. Mm. And now the double orps seem to be the response here from Sprout. So Diha and Snatchy have found opening kills with those. So maybe they can make it work now that they've got one each. Snatchy goes missing there. This is quick. Yeah, and Zaiwu so tagged up in the molly. I don't know if he knows. He tagged him even farther. Zaiwu down to just a quarter of his health and Faven ops for a fresh mag. Surely, surely he goes down eventually. Okay. They take down the Titan. And dunk. Hello. Oh, oh nice escape. Honestly, I love that switch up of pace. You expect, you maybe predict, you theorize that double orb's coming in. Why not try and bang it out quick? Apex, though, finds Snatchy, so that's one of the two removed. Diha the other. But look who's still patrolling here. We've seen this position be huge before. Oh my gosh, if the timing's right, if that smoke phase, Masuda seems aware. Nicely played from Masuda. Keep that in mind. The now short is open. Suddenly, this, I mean, this was supposed to be Sprout's fourth. I thought with opening kills onto Zaiwu and Shocks, you'd done enough, but it turns out Masuta is still in the server. Bombs down. DT's for the retake oh. and a great <laughs> shot. Masuta adds another to the tally. Diha, he's scratching his head. What am I supposed to do here? Nice smoke. He has a flash as well. Wants to throw that towards ramp for the jump up. And that's the first spotted. Needs the ramp fag fast. He doesn't get it. Masuta quad kill and double digits for Vitality. This is spectacular stuff to start us off. Vertigo and Vitality, another one to add to our Vertigo list. Yeah, and here's the deal, right? I was talking about Masuda when he first came in. He had a really, really rough game on Dust 2, I remember. He was holding that B bomb site. I'm pretty sure he finished the game with a goose egg, right? We don't need to dwell on that because he is a rookie. He is very young. The fact that he has a beard at his age is actually insane. I know some uh, older gentlemen who can't get too much on their face. But the point here is he is playing now like a, a player who fits into the team, right? I was worried after the early stages. He did look very shaky, but it's hard to know how long it takes for players to truly find their comfort zone. I mean, it's a process of integration as well because the expectations that, that he had upon him as he climbed mm. were get headshots, kill people, fine. The difference now is get headshots, kill people who are professionally salaried and are working as a five-man right. unit. To Precisely. Kill. It's no longer just going to be some guy winning his duel. It's going to be two flashbangs, a Molotov, and you've got your knife out because you have to get out and you've been shot in the bottom 19 rounds in a row. That's the reality that Masuta had to work with. And he has been, it seems, integrated nicely. They're in the quarterfinals. They're 10 to 3 up. We are certainly on track for a vitality dominance into the semi-finals. Sprout just scout for Spiddy. Certainly not ideal. And neither is missing his first shot. He'll get one more bite of the cherry before he smoked off. He can find that clean headshot. Not even that. Oh, Dennis, barely alive. Forced to wait. As the Moys do come back in. This utility just right, isn't it? They're just going to keep pouring it in. Apex playing ahead. RPK towards Dennis. They're making it look very comfortable right now. I really hope map number two, Sprout's pick of Mirage. It doesn't simmer like this. You can see that there's a chance Sprout, you know, they have a couple of openings. They maybe look a little bit dangerous. They won the force by that really got me excited within the early stages of the game. But you're seeing them get manhandled by Vitality now. You're seeing them get absolutely blown out of the water in some of these. So I, kn I know that Vitality are incredibly strong on this map. Um, I think almost flawless to a degree. I, I don't know how, like how often it's played, but Sprout, I, I don't know where they sit on this. Is, so, is this, uh, I, I, it's hard to even take it into this realm, obviously, because pound for pound, it's easy to look at Vitality and see them as a winner, but there has to be a world in which Sprout can achieve more and do better. I just don't know if this is a map that was ever going to entertain that idea. You're right, and it is a very strong Vitality map. In the last three months, they played it five times, they're undefeated. 16-7 victory over NIP, 16-11 over Dignitas, 16-11 over NIP, a 16-6 over Heroic, and a 16-2 over Complexity. So, quite Nicknames. the batterings, yeah, that have been handed on out there. Now, for me, if Sprout were either going to ban Overpass or Vertigo, seems to be what they flick between, and they've opted to go for Vertigo here today as the map they want to leave on open. Seems like a risk knowing that it is such a strong map for the Frenchman. Well, we've got the double orps out, Alex. I love them. Maybe, maybe, just maybe this time, it could do a bit of work. That's not a bad start. 
Not bad at all. Catching RPK just as the smokes were flying in and suddenly it's less of a threat, right? D has not called him for rotates because he knows he's already cut down likely 50% of what lingered here amid pincers a threat if Zywu's hitting his shots. And so with Dennis gone, we're into a four versus three. Deha baiting on quad. They don't have util to flush him out here. So if he just bides his time, Sorry, I was just caught another in transition. What was Spitty looking for? A, D a no scope from Deha. Peeking straight back into shocks, though, puts us into a level stead. Where is the last two? Okay. Those towards the elevators. Around they go. And the T's are relatively apart too, but bear in mind, Shox does have the bomb. He was spotted, so they're going to know where he was. Zywu now joins up. They've hit the brakes for a second. What do they have left to work with? No smokes, but they do have some lethals, so they could certainly wrap through that and the flashes to supplement as well. So Zywu can definitely make some room here. God damn the patience. I can't, but I, I swear he must have been there for the over 20 seconds. Just staring. He knew that would be the gap to be filled. I was chasing. Zywu just hunts him down. He's <laughs> got to keep that performance high. We're in oh, counter yes. Yum, yum, yum. What's Masuta fancying here? He was actually oh, he was thinking posturing with it. something cheeky. He's got Apex behind him. I can understand why he'd have some wind beneath his wings. Zywu just going for that jump peek. I am interested in the technique. So he's crouching, then up. Okay. So when solar A, just for oh. everybody playing at home. That's the responsibility on this man. The more hit bomb site, the, he's on his own. Wow. That's the warning shot. They've got so much into as well. Body shots would work, and he's already found one. Are they ready for another one? I'm not sure if he's expecting this. The flash does force him into the corner. Now a chance for a clean. God, why is he so talented? Oh, it's so crispy. Apex is taking the head off Spitty and charging back into the uh, A site, the A realm. Zywu just backing off, finding more and more headshot angles for him to adopt. Two overwhelming targets, but he's managed to stabilize into the first. Faven's gone. Snatchy overwhelmed with three different targets. He'd eventually fall. He's had quite a, a quiet one, has Snatchy. Let's not forget Orpa and Fragger extraordinaire. Under his Polish rosters, Zywu's got another lovely jubbly double kill for him. Just, I wonder how many multi-kills rounds Zywu's already managed to acquire over such a short space of time. I'm going to investigate. Beep, boop, 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 beep. That's Alex investing. That's the noise. He's got a little toy. Is that his brain or the computer? No, he's got a little toy robot. I don't think my brain makes any noise, darling. Just worse. Yeah. He's <laughs> just like an old fan. Bingo. <laughs> Um, <laughs> multi kills. He's got two. Uh, let me try again. Five multi kill rounds. Brain two really plus really kills. That's <laughs> multi. Um, all right. I'm glad we got that all sorted out and we're <laughs> doing things that I'm more capable of. Like, oh, we'll sprout at Eco, so they're not going to get anything done here. And oh, I just want to kind of set the scene for everybody playing at home. That this is a quarter final. This seems like a bit of a blowout. Now, we were mentioning the Vitality last three months undefeated on this map. Quite a good one for them. Oh, Nate over the top of the box. Oh. Hello. Okay. By design, I imagine. I hope so. Otherwise, it's a happy accident. Now, Vitality will run away with this, ladies and gentlemen. Their comeback, probably not going to happen. And oh. Zywu farming cash for that big green. So that's three kills. Cha-ching. So he's going to grab one of his own. Nice. If, if Zywu and Masuta, like Zywu obviously superstar, but if Masuta becomes the second star of this team, then I can actually start finding some validity in this roster just being like world beaters, right? Oh. Because RPK Rush. has massive performances. Rush, how you doing, mate? Hey guys, what's going on? Look, I'm next to, wait, I'm next to the players, look. Check it out. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Like, wow, like, cool, dude. <laughs> wow. I was like, wait, they're in the production room? <laughs> he's like hanging out at CC Spawn. Oh, that's cool, Life man. Oh, Life technology's Life amazing, Life. isn't it? Oh, Rush. The future is now. Uh, I love the way that Rush has literally become like a fan favorite of like green. everyone who watches. That's what oh, we call him. Here we go. He's got the big green. Not looking so green. A little bit more deadly. Um, and speaking of dead, Masuta's staying alive, but he's got a lot of pressure coming his way. Yeah, I thought he was win willing to swing on that flashbang there. Here's the pins pulled. He will be flashed in, and that should be at least one. Body guarded by Dye. Oh, okay, DK. it's finally finished off. Dennis got naded from three to one before Snatchy put the final bullet into him. Look at them still pushing. Yeah, this is nuts. More. I love this. They're going to take some space. They want to get this level. Procedurally clear his corners. And Snatchy needs some redemption here. He does get finished off by Zywu, and they've put him into a winnable stance. He's even going to get the bomb here. The choice oh, Vitality have made here, Lauren, is to put him in a winnable situation. Now they've got the bomb, and he's only got two to find. 
I want to see what this man can do. I've been hearing words, even when I was away from Counter-Strike, of what this guy can achieve, and I want to see the proof of it. I mean, he's on 23 kills and uh, looking incredibly good. Like, let's ignore that and pretend nothing's happened. It's only oh, this round. Going They're going up the ladder. Zywoo's on patrol. Smoke comes in. He's considering other things, but 35 seconds. He knows they're going to be coming his way pretty darn soon. Timing is everything. Taps. One retrieve. That's it. Gets his first free jewel. As he's anticipating the second, he's got the spray chance. But Speedy resolves it. Needed that sprout. Back off to their winning ways. And it was, of course, very similar ways in which they found their first few rounds. It was off the back of the pistol. This time, not the second, but the third round. Let's see this aggression again. Let's see how this translates oh. into a sprout victory in the end. It was Snatchy who actually gets hit. One and then done. No escape only attack. Yeah. Oh, that's so close right there. Zywo is stepping back out to take that fight. Unable to convert. Bis bit disappointed by that one right there, but the scoreline is 14 to 4. And let's see. Will they go for the four spite? No, it'll just be a partial. Couple of deagles, flashes to play with, and Zywo spotted a few there. Yeah, I don't know whether or not I'd be in compelled to charge into the USPs, regardless of how little they have. It's who has them that scares me. damage from a nade. Certainly one Apex would hope to forget. He's one of the Deaglers, so this is the end for Apex. Nice shots from Dennis. Keeping it clean. That's what you want to see. Certainly. Any of the Sprout fans out there, you want to see nice, clean rounds like this. No threats allowed. Dennis going through it all, but you can see the air of caution, even just against a very low HP shocks. They're being very, very meticulous and right to be doing as such. But they do keep five alive, get the bomb down, they get everything they wanted. And it's it's a good kind of uh, building blocks for them to get a respectable scoreline here. You don't want to be swept aside. You don't want this to be something that puts you in those dire moods going forward. Of course, they can mentally reset, but, you know, one to two, three rounds, it's never feeling nice. Yeah, this is where we talk about the chance for them to warm in going to their own map pick. So if they're able to... Did you call them Boy Scouts? I don't know. They're grown-ass men. Yeah, I know, but I didn't <laughs> want to say like they were military or something. They just all look like they were wearing like a green. uniform. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Someone who else might like green is shocks after that shot. Big green to hand, doing beautiful work. Didn't expect to see him rocking the AWP here, but maybe spawn allowing. Zawu only had uh, about 3,700, so he's had to opt for the UMP. And this is what I'm talking about now. It's not just a one-man show. They're not just setting him up anymore. He's a great player. He can win with anything. They're making sure everybody on the team has their opportunities to find frags and contribute to the victory. Team Flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very late smoke towards short. So you can see Zywoo's actually taken that as an invitation. He'll play the gap. Timing on this nade. He could find a big chunk of damage here. A little bit too early. Just tickles Faven. Apex, are you going to come back? Wow, he's right in the open. Snatchy could not believe his luck. He'll collect, and that equalizes. As I was only working with a UMP, so Spitty's presence on B will not be too concerning for the Vitality members. They've opted to stack over there and leave poor old Zywu with just an SMG to defend the potential A hit. They are dropping back towards B, though. Oh, oh no, wait, they're coming back towards A. They were going B, they were going A. It's a quick rotate, to be fair. True. So they can uh, flip flop as much as they like. 30 seconds, I'd probably want a decision out of them. He's going to be seeing smokes fly over towards A. <sighs> okay. I'm, I'm just so nervous for Sprout. It feels like these players are just on the verge of doing great things against them. For now, though, the smokes are good, the mollies are good. They're all in the right place, so they do get the plant. They're good. Ooh, some nice post plants. Ooh. Chilling with his buddy on the old ropes. It's just, I mean... I couldn't do that. Well, I don't understand about that spot. You, Chad, so many players go for it in the after. I hate it. Right? It's ter I think it's, it's terrible. It's, it's predictable at yeah. this point. It's an easy line from Elevea. I can fight you and isolate you without having to fight anyone else. Oh, he's actually at the further, little bit further back one. I so it's one up. Yeah, so the one that, that Alex and I are discussing is the pole just ahead. Rush, you're on a... Yeah, and this one here is what we don't like, right, Alex? Because you're bang on there. You are a lot more in the open. It's a left eye peak. It's a very precarious position. You are walking the tightrope, right? You, you can't fumble in that spot. And it is quite commonly cleared. So I'm with you right there. The one that Dihal was in, maybe he finds himself a little bit more success. We haven't seen that one come into play too often. But Vitality were more than happy just to concede that after giving up the bomb site. They gambled. You know, they put all in on red. Well, guess what? It was black. 
Unfortunately, uh, they'll have to saddle up, take some more money out of their back pocket and go again. Shocks will be holding on to that AWP, it looks like. I'm not sure if they were able to scavenge that weapon for Zywoo. The UMP doesn't look like it's floated, floating in the sky above the heads over there towards CT spawn. Bing. Bong. There is a Galil. So he's upgraded from a UMP to a Galil. So slowly getting more potent Zywoo's weaponry right here. <laughs> One of these days they'll get that big green. Well then, that's one way to start things proceedings off. It's RPK. He tags up Dennis in the middle of a run boost, and by the time his feet touch the ground, it is lethal. Oh, wow. That is um, a stark contrast to the start Zywoo got on his run boost, and now a fully oh, flashed Deha. Look wow. how he couldn't move, right? He doesn't want to be faffing around with his movement keys when he's flashed on a ledge. So he's just a sitting duck, plucked. A little like watching you play Fall Guys last night, just flying off the map. It's great. Not my strong suit. <laughs> it was very funny though. <laughs> um, Snatchy here in. Uh, I, I've got to say as well, credit to RPK. I feel like he's just such a powerful element when he has a sight. He just has that all-encompassing like knowledge of what he wants to do with it. For now though, the T is down to three. Bomb is still to hand, so at least there is, I guess, a silver lining in that. But they need something here. That could have been it, and a missed shot through the legs. Oh, that's a nutmeg. It's going to be the B hit. Shocks with the tag. Bomb should go down here. They even needs more. They're closing him in on every angle. Good shot. Snay and maybe another. Apex doesn't mind. He'll do it while he's blind. Snatchy going to be smoked off as well. What is his option? On the sandbags, maybe find a gap. It doesn't matter. Apex was pushing the whole time. So Vitality, it does just feel like it's a matter of time for them to convert their map pick. Sprout out class. I'd love to see the Dennis death. I don't know if we caught that in the replay. But uh, yeah, the catastrophic start to Sprout's play there. It's Zipping over. Boost. He gets dinked. HP, it was yeah. a dink. Even better. 10 HP by the time his boots hit the ground. And Apex just pushing through that smoke going and finding the Completely well. blind. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this one here just really feels hard for Sprout, right? One round away now, double orbs are not out. I thought they picked one up for Zawu, obviously not. So the AK for Zawu, he's finally got a good gun. Three rounds. Oh, RPK. Are you crazy? He wants more. Snatchy does get traded out and they get two opening frags and a man advantage off the break. I love it. This is just RPK at strength, backed up by shocks. Incredibly powerful, but now Zawu it up, but he's let Spitty past. Oh, and just for that, the dagger in the back, he leaves just DR alive and so far away from the bomb. So much more to be done. And Shox is still here. He's never left. <laughs> and he's not leaving. <laughs>